Use of appendix L is a bigger headache for most of coders, but it is quite easy if you understand it correctly. Actually, a coder depending appendix L in order to find out the given blood vessel is in which order, or it helps you to figure out how far the provider inserted a catheter when they were looking for something or they were doing a catheterization. The most common access point for catheterization is femoral arteries, right and left femoral arteries. The right and left femoral arteries enters into right and left iliac arteries, where of course the very bottom of aorta. So the surgeon got easy access to aorta through femoral arteries, where the aorta runs through the entire abdominal and thoracic cavity. When the catheter is in aorta, anywhere in the aorta up to arch of aorta, it is said to be non-selective catheterization because the surgeon has not selected any of the branches. And then he can advance his catheter into any of the branches, then it is said to be selective catheterization. The first branches which is arising from the arch of aorta are innominate, left common carotid and left subclavian artery. Based upon the first order branch, that is the first branch from arch of aorta, he can advance his catheter into respective second order arteries. I will show you another figure, then you got more idea about what is first order, second order and third order vessels. This is arch of aorta. From arch of aorta, three branches are arising. Innominate, left common carotid and left subclavian. These are the first branches arising from the arch of aorta, so it is said to be first order branches. So innominate is a first order branch. From the first order branch, second order branch is arising. So this is right common carotid artery, it is a second order branch. From the second order branch, two branches are arising, they are third order branch. They are the right external carotid artery and right internal carotid arteries. Let's check some coding points pertaining to vascular families in the code range 36200 to 36299. Code the highest order branch catheterized in a vascular family. To determine which blood vessel is to be coded, check where the tip of catheter at the time of imaging. In the given figure, the tip of catheter is at third order branch. In order to reach the third order branch, the surgeon has to pass his catheter through first order as well as the second order branch. So all those services are included in the CPT code for catheterization in third order branch. So code only third order. Let's do a scenario. A catheter is placed in the left common femoral artery and then advanced into external iliac, right external iliac artery in an anti grade direction, in moving forward direction. And from the external, right external iliac artery, dye was injected and lower extremity angiogram was performed. Which revealed what? Which revealed patency of this common femoral and profound femoris artery. Then the catheter was again manipulated into superficial femoral artery and again another angiogram was taken and that angiogram revealed occlusion from popliteal to peroneal artery. Two angiogram was taken. First angiogram was at external iliac artery and the second angiogram was at superficial femoral artery. At the latest imaging the catheter tip was at superficial femoral artery so just do code catheterization for superficial femoral artery only why in order to reach the superficial femoral artery he should pass all these way no other way all those services for catheterization through external iliac through superficial common femoral and then to the superficial femoral artery are bundled so just code for the highest order for the catheter tip 
when at the time of latest imaging. Let's check the appendix L. This is superficial femoral artery and check for the order. It is third order artery. From the external ilia to through common femoral, the catheter tip was at the superficial femoral artery. So and at the and that imaging revealed occlusion from popliteal to peroneal artery. So catheter tip check whether where the catheter tip it is at superficial femoral artery. So call for that for the third order catheterization. So here the CPT codes are 36247 for catheterization and 75710 for angiography. 36247 is initial third order or more selective abdominal pelvic or lower extremity artery branch within a vascular family. Here the artery branch is lower extremity artery branch, superficial femoral artery which is third order. So that code is appropriate and for angiography. Unilateral angiography was performed, so 75710 is appropriate. Next coding point is code each axis separately. For example, if the catheter is placed in the right subclavian and left subclavian arteries for imaging of upper extremities, each would be separately coded. Why? From the right subclavian artery, catheter should be drawn into innominate artery and then into left subclavian artery. So, the different axis, each should be separately coded. Next is code selective over non-selective catheterization. Selective catheterization means when catheter moves beyond aorta. Here, the catheter moved beyond the aorta to the right internal carotid artery. So, Call for the selective catheterization on right internal carotid artery only. We are using appendix L based on two assumptions. First is aorta, vena cava, pulmonary artery or portal vein are the starting point of catheterization. Accordingly, branches have been categorized into first, second, third order and beyond. First, second, third order from vena cava or iota or from pulmonary artery or portal vein. Okay, and this categorization doesn't apply for instance if femoral or carotid artery were catheterized directly in an anterior direction. Then this first, second, third order categorization doesn't apply. And second assumption is that patient is having normal anatomy. And you will not get any patient with abnormal anatomy in your CPC or CRC examination, so don't worry. You may get abnormal anatomy patients for, for some higher examinations. At that time, you cannot use appendix L. So, here you can see a dotted line. This is diaphragm. And by hearing the name of a given blood vessel, you should know at least whether it is located above or below diaphragm. Then you can locate the given blood vessel on appendix L fastly. For example, left ulnar. Left ulnar, here you can see left ulnar and it is located above diaphragm. By hearing the name of left ulnar, you should have an idea. Uh, yeah, it is a upper extremity artery. It is situated above diaphragm. Then you can go directly into the area of appendix L, above diaphragm area of appendix L and locate the given blood vessel and check uh, the order of that blood vessel okay along with the code 36247 you can see initial initial third order or more selective abdominal pelvic or lower extremity artery branch within a vascular family here initial means the first blood vessel that they went into for the additional third order blood vessel branches there is an add-on code there is 36247 Three six two four eight as an add-on code for three six two four seven.